Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, I have this big package coming in from my friend Alejandro that helped me out with a bunch of different figures, so let's just crack this thing open and let's get started. And I do want to mention to you guys that he's actually sending me two packages. This was the first one, and then there should be another one coming in. I'm hoping like early next week, and that one also has a lot of fun stuff inside. But before we get into that one, we of course have to crack this thing open, and I know it's inside, and I'm so excited to show it off to you guys. Well, actually, I know for the most part, there might be a couple things in here that I forgot about, but I should know most of it. Well, actually, to be honest, I know some of the figures. Like, he told me what was going to be in here, but I probably forgot about something. All right, everybody, so here we are inside, and it looks like there are five figures as well as a letter. Oh, I forgot about this. Like literally guys, the first thing I found I forgot about, but this is something definitely interesting. He was actually able to get me something that had to come directly from Funko. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Funko branded envelope, but yeah, there's something interesting inside of here that I will be showing you guys later on. And if you guys want to check out what the inside of the box looks like, there it is right there. Just a bunch of pops and sorters. And because they're all boxed up, I might as well just start with a random one. And on this, it does say high TP family so let's just find out what this figure is right here here we go it is oh flounder this is a cool one. So guys, I believe that this pop is the only one that I didn't pay for. He was nice enough to actually gift me this one. And I remember seeing it at Hot Topic for a little bit, but then I didn't pick it up and it sold out and I kind of wanted it after and he didn't want it after he bought it. So here it is right here, guys, now in my collection. And if you guys have never seen this one before, it is just like the normal flounder, but I never did get that one. So this one here is the diamond edition version where it's just full of glitter and I really do enjoy this figure. And now looking at the back here, I feel like this was just such a random set for Funko to come out with because there was only two figures in it, Sebastian and Flounder. Founder. Like, I feel like they could have made more Little Mermaid characters, which they did in the future. But for this one, just the two of them, kind of weird. But yeah, guys, this really is a neat pop. And if you guys want to see it without the protector on it, there is Flounder right there. And seriously, Alejandro, thank you so much for sending this over. All right, guys, so now let's get into the next one here. And this one is really heavy. Like, I'm trying to figure out what this... Oh, I know what this is. This one's really cool because he went to a smaller pop swap and he found this one there for a pretty good deal. So I was like, could you pick that one up for me? And he said, yes, of course. So guys, let's check this thing out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Can you guys see it? It is the flaming Hot Chester Cheetah. Now this one, guys, is definitely cool, and I only paid $30 for this figure, and I don't really know how much it goes for, but I felt like because it was sold out on Box Lunch's website, $30 bucks is not that bad, but they normally sell them for, like, what, $12.50? So almost like double markup, it's not that bad. Especially because I did not know where I was going to find this one in Canada, because we don't get Box Lunch exclusives, but you guys can even see he left the post-it note on there, which is exactly how much I paid for this thing. And now, guys, if you want want to check out the Chester Cheetah, there it is right there. And this is one of the only Chesters that I needed for my collection to actually finish it for my ad icon. So I'm definitely excited whenever I can get a new ad icon. And if you guys want to check out the backside there, they even put the Flamin' Hot logo with the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I know guys, I am taking this one out of the box and I know that Chester isn't normally like this in the Flamin' Hot commercials, but I wish that they made him a red color so that way he was more like that Flamin' Hot because I feel like this one here kind of just looks like the normal Chester, but I'm pretty sure everything that's orange and yellow on this figure does glow in the dark. And I guess because they didn't make him red, they made him more accurate, but then also added the flames around the bottom, so I guess that is better in a way, because you're getting an entirely new sculpt for Chester. Alright guys, so so far, two really great figures that I needed for my collection, especially this Chester Cheetah, because like I said, I think this is every single one that I needed now, because there was the Funko Hollywood one with him holding the Cheetos bag, there was the normal one, the flocked one, as well as the Diamond Edition, and this. So I think there's five different versions, and now I have every single one. And guys, just to confirm, I did did check the Funko app and those are the only five that they've made so far so I do have every single one and in case you guys are wondering this one's only worth $21 and I did pay $30 for it but whatever I needed it for my set. Now everybody let's get on to pop number three and this one here if I'm gonna be honest with you I've got no clue but as soon as I open it up I'm definitely gonna know what it is so here we go guys you ready three two one there it is right there guys is it something good I'm sure it is this one here is oh the bait exclusive Boba Fett now this is a nice figure and I wasn't actually able to get into it because I believe it was something like a lottery in a way and then you had to PayPal them $30 and then they used that PayPal or whatever to send it to you it was really odd but Alejandro was able to get it and he isn't the biggest fan of Star Wars so he was like hey I want to send this over to you so Alejandro seriously thank you so much for helping me out with this one because guys this is a really sick figure 
here and I love the Bait exclusive sticker. And if you guys don't know, Bait is like a clothing brand store, but they also get like a couple exclusive figures every once in a while. And this one was definitely a cool one. And if you guys are wondering, they've also got the Bruce Lee ones as well. I'm pretty sure every single one of them beside the San Francisco Giants one was exclusive to Bait. And now if you guys want to check out the Boba Fett a little bit closer up, there it is right there. Like seriously, this is a really neat figure. It's got that Bait sticker and you don't see that one very often. Actually, this might be the first time they've ever used that sticker because I have some of the older ones, which are the Bruce Lee Dragon Kick as well as the gold one. And they actually had like a bigger kind of rounder sticker, but I think I enjoy this one just a little bit more. And now this here is actually based off of one of the older Kenner figures and it's in the exact same colors that you can find in the Christmas special. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going for here. Maybe like both of them put together, but I definitely remember there being an older Kenner figure with these exact colors right there. Actually, if no one remembered, that should be the Kenner figure right there or at least whatever it's based off of, but I'm pretty sure it's the Kenner figure. And now I do want to pop this one out of the box real quick just so I can show you guys it a little bit closer up. And also, now that I'm looking at it, the box does look like an older Kenner box, so it must be that. But anyways, if you guys want to check it out, here is the Boba Fett right here. Like, seriously, this is a crazy cool figure. And from what it looks like here, I think they use the exact same head as some of the other Boba Fetts, but I think the body is a brand new sculpt because I don't remember the cape coming down on the side or the jetpack in the back. I mean, it could have been there, but it definitely seems a little bit different. Okay, guys, now this is interesting. I'm noticing on the inside flap here, they tell you a little bit more about the figure sometimes. Like, it gives you, like, a code as well as the name of the figure. And this one here says Star Wars Vintage Boba Fett. So it must be the Kenner one. I was thinking the Christmas special. I mean, that's also technically vintage, but the figure makes more sense. Can you guys see it there? It's, like, right up at the top here in tiny little letters. And if you guys don't know, that's on pretty much every single figure. So if you want to learn like a little bit more about it, like for example, with the Chester Cheetah, I bet you it would say flame and hot on the bottom here. Like, does it? Yes, it does. It says Chester Cheetah flame. And so you can see they do give you a little bit more information about the figure if you want to know some. It's usually not much, but like a word or two every once in a while. So I guess guys, a little fun fact with Top Pops today, but now let's get into the last two figures because they do go together. So we might as well open them up with each other. All right, guys. So here are the figures right here. And I'm actually so excited about checking these out because these ones are from the Disney parks. I'm not able to order these ones. For some reason, Disney parks does not ship Funko Pops to Canada, but Alejandro, who is a U.S. citizen, was able to help me out with these right here, and I couldn't be more excited about them. So I guess, guys, let's just start with this one right here, and then we'll get on to the next one after, and this here is such a sick one. This is from the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, and this one is, of course, Spider-Man, and this is for the new Marvel campus over in, I believe it's Disneyland? I'm not sure if they're both open, but I think they're going to both parks. And guys, I haven't actually been to the Marvel campus yet, so I don't know too much about them. All I see here is that Spider-Man has like this kind of like spider robot in his hand with a web coming from the bottom of it. And it really does look neat. And I know that there is a Spider-Man show there that you can watch with like Spider-Man animatronics as well as real people kind of mixed into it. It really does look cool from the videos I've seen anyways. And now I guess we might as well pop this one out of the box just because of how crazy this figure is, especially how high Funko put him off the ground with the base he's got. Ooh, hold on guys. Before I show you the figure on the back here, it really does have some neat details and it tells you a little bit more about stuff. It's probably going to be hard to see, but if you guys want to check it out, there is some of it right there. Actually, it'd be more like this way. So if you guys want to see that, I know it's probably not the greatest, but it is something cool that they add in the box. Oh, hold on guys. There's more information on the bottom flap and it says Marvel Spider-Man Spider-Bot. I don't know if that's the official name, but that's what Funko put here. See, I'm telling you guys, that little text at the bottom does come in handy sometimes. And now if you guys want to check out the figure, seriously, this thing is cool. And if you guys want to check it out, there it is right there, and I love how high they actually made him jumping in this figure. So I guess, guys, we'll just leave him here for now, because we do have this one to get into as well, and I want to check this one out, and I believe that this is also flying as well. This one here is Iron Man, and he is. Oh, cool. This one's neat. And now if you guys want to check out the Iron Man, there it is just a little bit closer up. And you guys might be noticing something kind of weird about these figures is that there's no Disney Park stickers on them. And that's where this comes into play. But before we open up the envelope, I do want to take Iron Man out of the box just so we can see them next to each other. Because I really want to check these things out, especially because of how high they made... It's going to get loud. Especially how high they made this Iron Man flying. Like, I don't know what it is, but the higher they make the figures, the cooler I think it is anyways. And if you guys want to check out the Iron Man, that is definitely one of my favorites in a long time. And I believe the reason that they made the Iron Man is because there's actually an Iron Man ride at Avengers Campus. Oh, hold on. Did I call it 
Marvel campus earlier. I apologize. Like I said, I haven't been yet. I'm not able to go. But anyways, guys, I'm so happy that I was able to get both of these figures. And Alejandro, thank you so much for helping me out with these because without you, I wouldn't be able to get them. And now, guys, like I said, we do have one more thing to do here today. So let me pop these back in the box and let's open up that envelope. All right, guys, so they are now back in their boxes so we can finally crack open this envelope here. And you guys probably know what they are at this point, but I won't spoil it yet just in case you don't. And also, because this is a Funko branded envelope, I'm gonna try to keep it as sealed as possible because I could see them through the packaging. And here it is right here, guys, just two Disney authentic stickers. Kind of weird, but I definitely wanted them for my figures. And in case you guys are wondering, that is the only thing they sent over, just the stickers. And now if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know why they didn't put stickers on the figures in the first place, but if you guys do want stickers for your figures, you guys can email Funko, and I believe they'll send them out to anybody who did order the figures and didn't get stickers. So now guys, here's the hard part. I have to take the stickers off of the paper and put them onto the boxes, and I feel like I might even do a better job than, you know, people just quickly doing them in the factory or wherever it is. So let me see what I can do here. This is nerve wracking. Okay, sticker is off. If you guys want to check that out, there is the Disney Parks sticker right there. Now all I have to do is just stick it to the front of the box. Okay, here we go. Right there in the corner, and that doesn't look too bad. Actually, that looks really good. Look at that, guys. Now that is a good sticker placement right there. And I remember this happened a long time ago with like maybe Toys R Us as well. So it is kind of funny that they happen with this one. Actually, now that I think about it, Funko, if you want to send over just a little sheet of stickers with every single exclusive, that could be nice because then I could put it on as perfect or as bad as I want. I don't know why I would do that, but you could if you wanted to. So anyways, guys, that was Iron Man. Now let's do it with Spider-Man. And here we go. All right, guys. Kind of nervous, even though I did the first one pretty well. I, you know, I, I'm just afraid I'm going to drop it or something like that. So anyways, guys, here we go. This is the Spider-Man one. It should be going like maybe like right there. Yeah, you know what guys? Not too bad and I really do enjoy them with the stickers on there because they're not so big that it's covering up the pop, but it's just big enough that you can see it really well. And if you guys want to see both of these figures together, there they are right there. And like seriously, they really do look great with those stickers. And so anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And thank you again to Alejandro for helping me out with all of this. And also Alejandro was the one that had to email to get these stickers. So Alejandro, thank you for going through all of the trouble to actually get these things. But I will say it did make a pretty interesting video that you don't see very often. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever yeah. fall for a party that's a no. Just bought the kidney about a million options. Said it's talking to stop doing the green. And I'm rocking green is bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car. Pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's independent.